and welcome to Holy Trinity and St Mary's Midweek Pause to Pray. Today our theme is the promise of the Holy Spirit as we prepare to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost this coming Sunday. Alleluia! Jesus, our risen Saviour, has overcome death and ascended to sit at God's right hand. Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 14. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. One of the most worrying aspects of the current lockdown is the increase in loneliness, and there's lots of demand for support helplines. Of course, loneliness doesn't just mean being physically on one's own. Some people are very good at coping with that anyway, indeed prefer it. But one can be lonely with people around, even within a relationship, and a group can feel lonely and exposed. We all know how it starts, with small children being afraid or sad when no one is in the room with them, and we may provide a comfort blanket or cuddly toy to reassure them. Today's Bible passage predates the events of Easter, and shows Christ was thinking forward to how his followers would feel once he had left them in earthly form. In the same way as we want to make sure people don't feel lonely and abandoned during lockdown, Christ had an eye on what was going to happen in the future after the events of Easter. His disciples were likely to feel exposed and nervous, and Christ promised them the support of the Holy Spirit. I find their transformation from frightened, ordinary working men into courageous, outspoken missionaries one of the most convincing pieces of evidence for the resurrection. There are times when we can feel embattled or nervous by differing from what seems to be the social norm. We may feel the odd one out or lonely, and this is where Christ's promise was and remains crucial. Different Bible translations use a range of words to describe the Spirit. Comforter, helper, friend, advocate or counsellor. None is entirely satisfactory and I guess we'll have different views on what is most helpful for us. In one of our online services recently, the speaker mentioned how her daughter identified with advocate as giving us confidence that someone has our back. That sums it up beautifully for me. And this is a promise we can rely on, not a comfort blanket, but knowing that by whatever name, the Spirit will be there to comfort, strengthen and inspire us, even when mission takes us outside our comfort zone. Let us pray. Father, Mother, Breath of Life, As we heard in the reading, you have given us the gift of a counsellor, the spirit of truth. Help us in this challenging time to listen out for the still, small voice. Help us to acknowledge and accept any difficulties we are facing during this time. And thank you for the strength and support you give us through our church community. While we miss being in our very special buildings, thank you that the hearts of our churches continue to beat through the actions of your people. Lord, we bring to mind at this time all those whose lives and livelihoods have been impacted by the virus and by lockdown. 
in the ups and downs of this experience. Help us to comfort others as you comfort us every day. Help us also to receive help willingly, as until we can receive with an open heart, we are never really giving with an open heart. Lord, we thank you for hope. We thank you for the things we have to look forward to as the virus passes and restrictions ease. But please also help us to be mindful of any positives of this situation, personally, in our community and across the globe. Help us to take note of these things so that as we emerge from this situation, we can be part of a world that better reflects your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Let us pray. God of glory, by the raising of your Son you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.